Hey, how's it going? I'm Steve Brinster. I'm from the New York, New Jersey area, and uh, I've been playing disc golf for almost 20 years now. Um, here with you guys today, I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. I'm gonna start off with my putters. Um, these are two guys that I'm putting with. I've got an Omega Super Soft. This is an older run. Um, I use this for a lot of my low line spin putts, um, low ceiling, I should say, and uh, anything that's kind of 50 feet and out um, that I wanna put some kind of a bit at, but not run too far past. Um, use this for a lot of controlled shots in the woods uh, to get up and down and uh, this is a go-to kind of save disc for me. Um, my main putter is a grid stamp AVR. This is one of the older runs that they had. Nice and stiff, uh, no bead and uh, it's just got a really straight true flight to it. Perfect for me with the push putt. Um, it's something that I concentrate on exclusively is is trying to make sure I keep it online and having a disc that flies true and straight is uh, essential to that. Um, to go to my throwing putters, um, this is an 11 time big bead AVR. It's pretty worked in, it's a straight disc. I'm throwing this on hole 17 here at Winthrop. It's, it's perfect for that. It's got just enough stability to hold up to any kind of windy conditions, but it doesn't got a ton of hookup in it. So that guy's getting thrown a lot. Um, this is a 12 time KC uh, with the Air Force stamp. This was a really nice run that they did. Nice and stiff, flat, a little chalky, and uh, has similar flight characteristics of the 11 time. Um, anytime you're here at Winthrop and uh, with all the out of bounds and stuff that's out there and at a lot of courses, it's nice to have two discs that do the same thing. Uh, if you happen to make a mistake, if I didn't make the island, I got something right that does the same exact thing right behind it and uh, I don't have to make too many adjustments. Um, the final one is, this is like my turnover putter. Uh, this is a small, this is a small bead AVR. Uh, it's actually a 1999 small bead. So this is an older disc um, and I can release this with hyzer and do all sorts of flip up shots and more technical shots, uh, even at low speeds. Dive into the mid ranges here. Um, I'm carrying three KC AVRs. Um, this is an 11 time. This is actually the newest rock in my bag. It is still got a little bit of stability, but it's pretty straight. I can trust this into winds, and uh, this is slowly becoming my favorite rock in the bag right now as it gets uh, a little more worn in. Um, the next one in stability actually is a rock from Paul Ulibarri, um, but he gave this to me in California this year, and it it's just a really nice turnover disc. Um, it is just about a perfect turnover rock right now and I've been using this a ton. Um, and then I have my flippiest one is a 12 time uh, Casey rock. And this guy took a few bad gashes. It doesn't look like it's all that beat up, but it is flippy. Uh, I can do, it can still make a turn in tailwinds. And uh, they're nice, they all complement each other well. Uh, I'm really happy with how their stabilities have worn in and how they're working together right now. So that's, uh, they're in a good place. Um, this is the Mako 3. Um, this is an early period one that they gave me. Um, it's nice and flat, still stiff. It's, uh, it's something that went into the bag right away. I was really happy to have something that was replaceable. Some of my rocks take a really long time to get to the stage that they're at. And uh, this was just instantly like a nice turnover mid-range. Um, they went in the bag pretty quick, which I'm surprised because I've been throwing rocks for many, many years. And uh, it's got a really nice flight. If you haven't thrown them yet, check it out. It's a very nice disc. And these are two of my staples in my game. Um, these are Q Sentinels. Uh, they're not known all that much to a lot of people, but these are my go-to mid-ranges. I use these on almost all my approach shots, especially in windy conditions. Um, I particularly like these because I could get about 40 or 50 more feet out of 
on a drive and it's kind of an in-between disc for, between a rock and a fairway driver for me. Um, I'm throwing this one here, which is my understable Sentinel um, on hole 14. It's just got that little bit of extra distance. It's uh, just very predictable. No matter what the windy conditions are, they never do something random. Um, this guy's a little newer, um, more overstable, and I can trust it into headwinds. Um, but these are two discs that I don't know what I'd do without. Um, I'm going to the fairway drivers. Um, I've got a Star Leopard. Uh, this is an early pre-flight Star Leopard. Uh, this is my flippiest of my fairway drivers and it is uh, very trusty. It, once it turns, it just keeps going. Um, I love the flight characteristics. I put this in the bag about two or three years ago and it's stayed in ever since. Um, really solid disc. I'm carrying two star T-Birds. Um, these are my straight T-Birds. Uh, the purple one is a little bit more flippy. I'm using this on hole 16 here at Winthrop. These are early period of the star T-Birds and uh, they just have really amazing straight qualities to them. Um, and it's uh, another disc that on, when you're playing a course like Winthrop, you need something that's predictable. and. Uh, that's that's these. Um, this next disc is my Tour Series T-Birds. Um, thanks to Innova, they let me choose um, and help modify uh, the T-Bird mold even. Um, I asked them to make me an overstable T-Bird and that's exactly what they did. Um, I'm carrying three of these right now. This lighter color blue one is finally worked in a little bit um, and starting to go straight but uh, this really filled a hole in my bag this is um, I kind of felt like every time uh, it was getting really windy that the star t-birds weren't enough to hold up to the wind and uh, now I can pull one of these out and uh, be extremely confident and uh, they're just absolutely perfect for me, and I can't thank Innova enough for uh, helping me out with that. Um, another disc that you'll see me throwing a lot of, especially at the championship, is uh, first run Star Excaliburs. Uh, I'm carrying three of them, all in different stabilities. Um, this is my most understable of the of the three, but it is um, it's still got plenty of overstability to uh, hold up on long distance shots. These discs are just perfect for me um, in distance and accuracy. Uh, they just hold up really well to my power and my torque. And um, they just fly so nice. They fly like my T-Birds, but just with the extra distance. And it's uh, something I've been throwing for five or six years now, and I, they're still in the bag. I'll be throwing them a ton this week. Um, one of the newcomers to the bag um, within the last year has been this T-Devil. This is an overstable one, um, and it's, uh, it's kind of nice because I'm throwing this a lot of, in a lot of the areas where I might be worried about losing a disc. Um, the final shot over the water on hole five, a couple other areas where I don't want to maybe take the chance of hitting a parking lot with one of my other discs. This fly is very similar to my Excaliburs, but uh, it's more replaceable and it's a little faster. I could get a little bit extra di distance out of it. So this, uh, this made the bag, I've been very happy with it. And it's, uh, it's getting thrown a lot out here this week. All right, go to, these are kind of like my specialty discs. These are uh, some roller discs that I throw and I'm actually throwing, um, quite a few rollers out here this week. Um, this first one is pretty funny because it's a mangled Orion LF. Um, this actually came back to me um, a couple years ago after being in a lake, but this is a real trick shot disc. Um, it doesn't have much left on it. It is extremely beat up, um, but I can do all sorts of uh, technical things with this. I can throw extremely flippy rollers. I can throw grenades and actually get this to fly. 
Um, I can get it to flip even on extremely short um, shots. It's, uh, it's a trick shot disc and uh, believe it or not, it gets used quite a bit. Um, this is more of my traditional roller disc. This is a very old QJLS. Um, and I'm throwing this a lot as well. Um, this is a very trusty, always gonna flip up kind of roller shot. And uh, it's been in the bag for probably the better part of 10 years at least. The final one is a beat up Wraith. Um, this is kind of my power distance uh, roller. I can throw this flat and get it to fly for 300 feet before it hits the ground. And uh, put it down with a little bit of angle and it's still gonna flip up. Um, so if I need to go max distance, um, this is the disc that I'm, I'm taking out for that. The next one in here is just a nice old Wraith. Um, this is a, one of the overstable batch Wraiths. Um, very early period, a little bit of pearliness in it. But um, I could lay into this with some hyzer and it will stand up flat and even get a little bit of late turn. Um, but this is uh, one of my go-to distance driver discs um, or even late turn. Um, this is a really nice one. And uh, the final disc in my bag is uh, an 11 time Firebird. Uh, this disc has been in the bag for about five years now and uh, it is just a meat hook. Um, no matter what I do with it, it goes left. Uh, I can throw flex shots with it. I throw grenades. Um, throw my flicks with it um, and uh, it's one of the most overstable firebirds I've ever thrown I can trust it anywhere and it's gonna do exactly that it's gonna go left every time so it's nice to have one of those in the bag <laughs> <laughs>